Welcome insiders to Tech Inside, I'm your host Eric. Today is June 23rd, 2014, we're going to be doing some inside news. <laughs> So first off, in the inside news, do you want to play some awesome games with a controller on your iPad mini? Well, if so, Wikipad has come out with the Game Vice. It's a controller that goes with your iPad mini. It kind of connects to the side of the iPad mini. It makes it look similar to a Wii U controller. I'm not going to be getting this because, well, I do not have an iPad mini and don't plan to get one anytime soon. Anyway, though, moving on, Microsoft. Microsoft has actually upped the storage space on their OneDrive service. If you pay for an Office 365 account, whether that be personal or home or university, you're going to get one terabyte of cloud storage, which is a big up because originally you can only have up to 20 gigabytes. Now it's one terabyte. But if you don't want to pay for an account, now they up the free storage to 15 instead of 7. Moving on though again, Amazon has come out with the Amazon Fire Phone. The phone will start you off at 200 bucks for a 32 gigabyte model. It's only on AT&T right now. The specs on it seem to be pretty decent. It has a 4.7 inch display, which is HD. It also has a Snapdragon processor. It's supposed to have pretty good graphics, two gigabytes of RAM. It claims to have a really nice camera better than the Samsung Galaxy S5 and also the iPhone 5S. Not exactly sure if that's actually true. The phone has some interesting technology like dynamic perspective. This is kind of like a way to interact with your phone when you're tilting it back and forth. Kind of almost like 3D, but it's not 3D. Also apparently I think you can like tilt your phone in a certain way and different menus can pop up without even touching the screen. There also is this Mayday feature, which Mayday is basically an instant live support if you have an issue with like your phone or something. Though I don't know how that would work because what if my phone can't connect to like Wi-Fi or 3G? How is that going to work? There also is like this fire button on the side, which basically opens up your camera or turns on your microphone, and it can figure out what you're listening to, what you're looking at. Like if I have a book in front of me, I can take a picture of my book with this fire button, and then it's basically going to search on Amazon for the book so you can buy it. Although I can see this slightly helpful, it's also pretty much a big gimmick because they're trying to get you to buy more Amazon stuff. Overall, the phone looks somewhat decent, though it's running the Fire OS, which is made off of Android, but has no access to like the Android market. So Amazon's pretty much relying on their own services to come up with basically their own OS, which I'm not exactly a fan of. Finally, in inside news, I want to mention to you the Sony A7S. This is a DSLR, a 4K DSLR, that Sony announced previously this year. The camera's going to cost you around 2500 bucks, which is fine because 4K cameras are just coming out. But the big thing with this camera is the ISO. It has a crazy ISO it can go up to, and apparently it has basically no noise in the video. I bring it up because I just came across a YouTube video where someone was trying out the ISO settings in an outside environment where it was basically completely dark, and he actually made the camera overexpose the image even though it was basically completely dark out. So if you want to check out that video, check the link down below. I thought it was pretty interesting. Anyway guys, that's inside news for today. Please leave all comments down below. Let's do it. Subscribe and share with your friends. Help the channel any way you can. Also, if you have any questions you want me to answer in the next video of Inside News, hit them up down below. And other guys, my name is Eric, this is Tech Inside, and I'm signing out.